Hi, this is Steve Stein from Guitar Zoom. And if you're learning how to play chords, open chords, D, G, A, that sort of thing, and you're having a hard time making those chords, I want to help you by giving you um, an idea that might make this easier for you. Now, what happens a lot of times when people are practicing chords, or practicing D or G or whatever, they have a tendency of doing something like this. And again, I, I was there and I know how frustrating it can be. But let's say you're, you're making D, right? And you wanna go to a G, so the song is asking for a G chord, so you wanna go to G and you do stuff like this. You lift up and you're you know, trying to get your fingers in the right place, and by the time you make the chord, you know, the, the song that you're trying to play along with is already three measures ahead of you. It happens all the time. So what happens is when people practice, they'll make a chord and then they'll strum it for a while and you know, that sort of thing. I wanna give you um, a tip that might be able to help you on making those chords faster. And it's what I refer to as bouncing. And basically what it is, is a um, muscle memory technique so you can get faster at actually making the actual chord. So instead of making the chord and then strumming it, what you're gonna do is not even worry about strumming it at this point. That's a whole other technique that we can talk about. What I want you to do is I want you to make that chord, let's just take a D chord as our example, Okay, although we could use anything. What I want you to do is pretend like your fingers are super glued in that shape. Now we're pretending, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna simply try and take those fingers and we're gonna try and keep them in that shape and we're gonna lift them up off the guitar. So you can see I'm literally off the guitar now, right? And then I'm going to try and set them back down exactly where I picked them up. So I'm trying to get as close to the fret as I can for each one of my fingers here right? Trying to get as close to each one of those as I can. Trying to make sure I'm not touching any other strings, all those kinds of things. And then I'm going to lift it up and hold it and then set it back down. And then lift it up and then set it back down. Now there's no particular speed or amount of these that you need to do. It's just a really great technique to train your hand to make the shape that you want. Because the, the worst thing that you can do when you're trying to make chords is to get up to your guitar and then stare at it and try and do this. Because by the time you make the chord, whatever it is you were trying to do is already further ahead of you than, than where you'd like to be because it took too long. So the trick is, is to, whenever you want a chord, like A or G or whatever it might be, is to visualize it in your head and make it with your fingers, okay? So for instance, if we were to do something here, I talk about all these things in, I have a, an open chords, a guitar course that shows all kinds of different tips and tricks to, to making these things faster and more efficient. But let's just take our hand and put it on our leg once. So if I want to make that D chord, the trick here is this. As soon as I lift that hand up, I want to, be, I want to make the D shape. So when I lift, my hand already makes the shape, so when I go up to make the chord, it sets it down. I don't want to lift the hand up and then get there and then make the chord because it's going to take even longer. So the trick is to make the shape and then to set it down. Now D is a little bit harder than say an A chord. If you're making an A chord, you have three fingers, whatever finger combination you like to use, but you've got these three fingers that you're putting together, okay? So when you lift up, you can continually hold those three fingers together and then set it back down. So it's a little bit easier to practice bouncing with a chord like A than maybe something like D. But it's entirely up to you and where you are in your practice, but it's a really great technique to practice, is just bouncing, lift it up, set it down, lift it up, set it down. So you'll notice when I'm lifting it up, I'm not just doing this and then trying to build it again. I wanna literally train my fingers to make that shape, okay? It drives my family crazy when we're driving. You know, I'm driving in the car and I'll be listening to a song, I'll be doing this, you know, be like making the shapes with my fingers. Just because my brain is thinking about it and as I'm driving, I'm, I'm listening to the song and my fingers are, are making these shapes. That's what I want you to be trying to do. If you want an A chord, right? You pick it up, you set it down. You're bouncing that chord. So again, remember, the goal isn't to try and do it as fast as possible or anything like that. The goal is just to, to, to really think about it and visualize your fingers and set it, pick it up, and then set it back down. 
Okay, and while you're doing this, a really good idea is to make eye contact with your hands as well. Somebody made this weird rule a long time ago, this unwritten rule that you're not supposed to look at your hands when you play, which is just silly. It's like telling somebody you should drive and keep your eyes closed or something like that. Eventually, just like when you were first born, you probably stared at your feet when you walked and you know ran into the wall every once in a while. And then after a while, you get comfortable with it. You don't stare at your feet anymore. The same thing happens with guitar playing. Don't force yourself to not look because there's some rule that says you shouldn't look at your, your hands when you're playing. Look at your hands. Get comfortable with what things look like, right? And then eventually, you won't have to do that anymore, and that's okay. But if you're first learning how to play chords, the, the first rule shouldn't be don't watch yourself play. You know, it's okay to look at your fingers. It's okay to watch your hand as it moves around and visualize these. You know, when I when I think about a D chord, I can see it in my head. You know, if I never looked at my guitar when I played, I wouldn't even know what it looks like. So don't start with the idea of not looking at your hands when you play. Look at your hands as much as you need to. And once you get comfortable, you'll get comfortable with how this feels, how far it feels. Where's your elbow at when you make this D chord, right? Where's your shoulder at? Where's your wrist at? And as you get more comfortable with it, you'll look at it less and less, and that's fine, okay? But don't make it some sort of priority rule that you shouldn't look at your guitar or shouldn't look at your hands when you play. Please look at your hands and get comfortable with what it looks like and what it feels like and what it sounds like, all those sorts of things. But practice bouncing um, to make that chord faster and more comfortable through muscle memory. It's really, really important.